Chav, is a stereotype and pejorative epithet used in Britain. The stereotype was popularised in the first decade of the 21st century by the British mass media to refer to an anti-social youth subculture in the United Kingdom. The Oxford Dictionary defines Chav as an informal British derogatory, meaning a young lower-class person who displays brash and loutish behaviour and wears real or imitation designer clothes. Etymology, the term may have its origins in the Romani word chavi, meaning child. The derivative chavet has been used to refer to females. The adjectives chavish, and chave to stick have been used in relation to items designed for or suitable for use by chaves. The word existed in the 19th century. Lexicographer Eric Partridge mentions it in his huge dictionary of slang and unconventional English. Chavel was used to describe a boy. On BBC Learning English, Professor David Crystal wrote, Nobody knows who reactivated the word chav in recent times after its historical use in Romani history. The word in its current pejorative usage is recorded by the Oxford English Dictionary as first used in a Usenet forum in 1998 and first used in a newspaper in 2002. By 2005 the term became widespread in its uses to refer to a type of antisocial, uncultured youth who wear a lot of flashy jewellery, white trainers, baseball caps, sham designer clothes. The girls expose a lot of midriff. In the 2011 book, Chaves, The Demonization of the Working Class, the author surmised that the word is an attack on the poor. In the 2010 book Stab Proof Scarecrows, it was surmised that Chav was an abbreviation for Council Housed and Violent. This created a backronym. This backronym was used in a 2012 public statement by rapper Plamby as he spoke out to oppose the use of the term. In 2013 David Crystal, one of the world's foremost linguistic experts on English, was featured on BBC Learning English. He said, People talk about chav behavior or chav insults and that sort of thing. Oh, don't believe the popular etymologies that you read sometimes in the press and on websites. I saw one the other day. People said, it's an acronym, CHAV, from Council House and Violent Well, no, it isn't, that was made up in recent times. Stereotype, besides referring to loutish behavior, violence, and particular speech patterns, the stereotype of a CHAV includes wearing branded designer sportswear, which may be accompanied by some form of flashy gold jewelry otherwise termed as bling. In a case where a teenage woman was barred from her own home under the terms of an anti-social behaviour order in 2005, some British national newspapers branded her the real-life Vicky Pollard with the Daily Star running headlines reading, Good riddance to Chav scum, real-life Vicky Pollard evicted, both referring to a BBC comedy character parodying Chaves. Created by radio host Matt Lucas for the show Little Britain, the Vicky Pollard character is a gossiping, drug-running, thieving teenage delinquent, who in one episode trades her out of wedlock baby for a CD. A 2006 survey by YouGov suggested 70% of TV industry professionals believed that Vicky Pollard was an accurate reflection of white working class youth. Also in 2006, Prince William of Wales and his younger brother Prince Harry had dressed up as Chaves, resulting in headlines in The Sun naming him Future Bling of England. The article stated, William has a great sense of humor and went to a lot of trouble thinking up what to wear. Response to the stereotype has ranged from amusement to criticism that it is a new manifestation of classism. The Guardian in 2011 identified issues stemming from the use of the terms hoodies, and chav within the mass media, which had led to age discrimination as a result of mass media created stereotypes. Commercial effect, in 2005 the fashion house Burberry, whilst deriding Chaves, claimed that the widespread fashion in the UK of Chaves wearing its branded style, that is Burberry check was due to the wide availability of cheaper counterfeit versions. In 2008, in response to the continuing rise in popularity of the Burberry brand, Christopher Bailey, who was responsible for the Campania Euro unregistered trademark S overall image including all advertising, corporate art direction, store design and visuals, and the design of all Burberry collections and product lines, said I'm proud we had such a democratic appeal. The large supermarket chain Asda has attempted to trademark the word chav for a new line of confectionery. A spokeswoman said, 
with slogans from characters in shows such as Little Britain and The Catherine Tate Show providing us with more and more contemporary slang, are whatever sweets a euro now nicknamed Charv Hearts a euro have become very popular with kids and grown-ups alike. We thought we needed to give them some respect and have decided to trademark our sweets. Criticism of the stereotype, a BBC TV documentary suggested that Charv culture is an evolution of previous working-class youth subcultures associated with particular commercial clothing styles, such as mods, skinheads, and casuals. In a February 2005 article in The Times, Julie Birchall argued that use of the word is a form of social racism, and that such sneering reveals more about the shortcomings of the Charv haters than those of their supposed victims. The writer John Harris argued along similar lines in a 2007 article in The Guardian. The widespread use of the Charv stereotype has been criticized. Some argue that it amounts to simple snobbery and a copyright elitism. Critics of the term have argued that its users are neo-snobs, and that its increasing popularity raises questions about how British society deals with social mobility and class. The Fabian Society see the term as offensive and regard it as sneering and patronizing to a largely voiceless group. The term has been defined by tabloid headlines. It is language used to belittle. On describing those who use the term, the Society stated that we all know their old serviette napkin, lounge living room, settee sofa tricks. But this is something new. This is middle class hatred of the white working class, pure and simple. The Fabian Society have been highly critical of the BBC in using the term in broadcasts. The term was reported in The Guardian in 2011 as class abuse by people asserting superiority. Spread in the media, by 2004, the word was used in national newspapers and common parlance in the UK. Susie Dent's Larpers and Shroomers, The Language Report, published by the Oxford University Press, designated it as the word of the year in 2004. Characters described as chaves have been featured in numerous British television programs. The character, clothing, attitude and musical interests of Lauren Cooper and her friends in the BBC comedy series, The Catherine Tate Show, have been associated with the Charv stereotype. The comedy series Little Britain features a character with some similarities, Vicky Pollard. In the British television series Misfits, the character of Kelly Bailey is presented as a stereotypical charve. Lauren Socker, the actress who portrays Kelly, has described the character as being a bit chivy. The Times has referred to the character as a chavish girl, and the character has been said to possess a charve accent. In the BBC TV series Doctor Who episode New Earth, the character Lady Cassandra is transplanted into Rose Tyler's body. When Cassandra sees herself in a mirror, she exclaims oh my god. I'm a charve. See also, hooliganism, social structure of the United Kingdom, comparable terms, Westie, Arbeng, Ars, Asu, Johnny slash Marina in Flanders. Bogan, Bud Mash, Drez, Guido, Gopnik, Gino, Muzza, Nako, Ned, N-E-E-T, Skanga, Spide, Fug, White Trash, Wigger, Yanka, Carney, Tata, Peligato, Calf, Raquel, Flight, References. Further reading, Keith Hayward and Majid Yar. The Charve Phenomenon, Consumption, Media and the Construction of a New Underclass. Crime, Media, Culture 2, 9 Euro 28 doi, 101177 slash 17416590060617080, Jones, Owen. Chaves. The Demonization of the Working Class. Verso. ISBN A 978-1844676965. Audio, Professor David Crystal, BBC World Service, Learning English, MP3. Video, Plan B Youth, Music and London at TEDx Observer.